Do you think people with mental disabilities should be able to vote? Yes. Yes. Probably not. They're just people like who might need extra help. I feel like if you're not capable of taking care of yourself, then you shouldn't be able to vote. I feel like disability or not, like your voice should be heard. If they don't completely understand what they're voting for, then they're probably pretty easily manipulated by like social media. They should still have a say in our democracy and mm -hmm. still have a say in who gets to govern us. They are also affected by the policies that are like created. I mean, just because they have mental disabilities, they, they honestly have even more of a say because they're, you know, representing another side of of our population. Also, I feel like there's not a crazy mass number that would change uh, how a vote would swing. What if someone has like Down syndrome or like autism? Yes, I still think they should be able to vote. Yeah, because like you're trying to represent that person too, so. People with autism should be able to vote. A lot of them are like really uh, highly functioning and actually like way smarter than normal people. Someone with like Down syndrome or autism should still be able to just go and vote like any other citizen? Yes, I believe so. I feel like if you aren't a part of either of those communities, you really shouldn't have a say. But I also think we are underestimating people who may have Down syndrome, autism, their ability and capability to understand, because they might be more capable of like those conversations than we are. What about someone with like autism or like Down syndrome? No, they should be able to vote. They have the same rights as everyone else as people. I don't know. There should probably be some sort of test requirement to make sure you know what you're talking about. Because if you don't know what you're talking about, then it's really just a matter of like how, how manipulated you are by media. Do you think they should take a, any sort of test or anything like that? Possibly, probably depending on how severe their disability is, yeah. I feel like regular U.S. citizens like who don't have disabilities don't have to take a test and a lot of people don't know a lot of stuff. I feel like if you did that you'd kind of have to do it for everyone. No one else who votes has to take some sort of test so it just seems like an, an unfair way to control whether they get to vote or not. Do you think people with mental disabilities should be able to vote? I think they should or their family should on their behalf. Do you think like their parents should vote for them? No, definitely not, no. If they can't vote, their parents shouldn't be able to, because then that's kind of giving the parents two votes each, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's not really fair for everyone else in the country. Tons of people are undiagnosed with mental illnesses um, and they're not having you know their parents vote for them or test to determine whether they should be able to vote. What do you think about their parents voting for them? No because that like their people once they reach a certain age like just like everyone they kind of should have their own autonomy over that. What if they just like don't can't understand they don't understand? I feel like they could request some sort of help reading some sort of help getting it read to them or something. And if they still can't understand after that, then what? I feel like if they have the drive and the will to vote, like they will end up understanding whatever they need to process. So, yeah. But what's your final message for everyone that's watching us right now? Um, I would say just, you know, it's, it's not fair to discriminate against people who don't, who have mental illnesses and they should have the right to vote just like all of us. Perfect. You guys heard it here first. If you're watching this video, subscribe, give this video a like and comment down below, baby do that. <laughs>